Alright guys, so we have patch update versions, patch update notice, version 6.5.5, this is the 2A update. So let's take a look at what we have, we're gonna take a look at the skills. Right? Uh, dimension hole, the new dimension Sacrion. Yeah, you can take a look at this for, uh, on the developer's note there. Uh, there's a new dimension there. We all know that. Uh, you get uh, from this dimension, you get the focus, despair, revenge, plate, fight runes. Okay, that's already um, mentioned in the developer's note. Now we want to take a look at the skills. Um, Vagabond, the fire one. I don't know the name. I forgot. Uh, the default is the same, doesn't change anything. The slash waves now attack enemies, decrease attack power for 2 turns with 70% chance each and recovers hit points by 20% of the damage dealt. Built in Vampire. Uh, so this is single target. The attack will be more happy, so tanky, I mean his defense type. Should have been made hit, hit points type, right? Max hit point, max hit point, 70% chance to decrease attack power and recover hit points, okay? And then Cry of Challenge now provokes all enemies for one turn. One turn provoke, increase defense for three turns and gains immunity for three turns. This is kind of nice, but you only provoke for one turn. I mean, if it's broke for two turns, that would be too broken. Provoke one turn, increase defense and gains immunity, which is okay. That is good, uh, but I don't know how good this is gonna be, right? Hmm. Okay, the water one. Slash rocks. Swings giant sword. Decrease decrease target defense and provokes for one. Oh, this got provoke on the first skill. Uh, second skill attack enemy with a move attack. This is also provoke. So provoke provoke. And then oh, this third skill is also that means every skill is a provoke. And the passive is when your HP is at. When your HP has 30% or lower, or when you are provoked by a provoke, when you are attacked by a provoke target, the damage you receive is reduced by 50. Okay, so if he has low hit points, it will become harder to kill him. So this is HP hit point type, which is kind of nice. So you just build him tanky as a um, as a water type, right? Uh, the wind one we've already seen this one, right? The one that has two passive. Uh, Darian. First skill the same, second skill, decrease attack power for two turns, absorb, absorb attack power. But 10% absorb attack power only though. Uh, this attack will more damage than yep. Okay, so almost the same as the other, oh, but the slash with all has different uh, elements, no, di different additional thing that they do. This one absorb attack power by 10, but only by 10%. Uh, the Knighthood passive, now it re the, reduce the damage of other allies by 30% but increase the damage you hit by 15 So this is increased. This is, before this is what, 20% or 15%? I can't remember, it's, it's like, it's been a while since I used uh, Darien. Oh, 20. 20% become 30%. But now he receives more damage by 15%. So you. You reduce damage by that extra 10%, but you yourself get 15% more damage. Why? Why isn't that 10 and 10? Like you reduce 10% damage and then you your, your damage you receive is like 10% too. Come on, no? Let me take a look at this two skill. Um, okay, this is 50% chance. Now it's become 70. I wonder if they got this. Oh, maybe they don't get this. The extra skill up would probably just the damage, extra damage. This one, the 20% is already included here, so that means it doesn't change at all. Right, it just have an additional thingy there. Increase defense for 3 turns, provoke all enemies without, but oh, okay. Okay, so, just adding something there. Why not hit point is, Oh, this is already here. So only uh, the only thing that's changed for this is when you're attacked by a provoke enemy, you also reduce. You also receive reduced damage. Okay. 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 I see. How about the dark one? The dark one. What does the dark one have? This time you attack. Okay. 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 So where is the other one? Uh, the dark. One.
So the dark one is this is the same. Attack enemy, humility, provoke enemy for one turn, increase the Huh? Increases the provoke effect by one turn up to three turns if you attack the provoke enemy. Oh So that means if you use this skill, you provoke the enemy by one turn and then if the enemy is already provoked it will increase the provoke effect by one more turn so if you attack it and it can go up to three turns provoke wait that, that means you can use this um, jubel with other units that also provoke and then you can increase the provoke thing interesting Wait, but then that means he's... Oh. But that means if he increase the provoke, that means he's gonna attack this unit, right? And not the, the other unit that's doing the provoke. Okay, that's interesting. You can increase the provoke. Okay, not bad. Uh, decreases the chances of reading this is the same because cooldown death is the same. In addition, increase your attack bar by 30% if you get... Oh! non-critical hit he doesn't have any non-critical hit stinging so you have to use him with like other thing that can do non-critical hit stinging right we got attack bar 30 percent sadly uh he doesn't have a passive that can ignore like that can ignore that can decrease critical hits hmm okay okay doesn't seem that Good. All the Vagabond seems meh, right? Not that interesting. Okay, Mystic Witch. Fire one. First and second skill is the same. The third skill. Wait, we, we've seen this one already. This one is already mentioned in the previous developer's note. Increase attack bar by 5% each up to 30%. This, the, the only, I mean, this one they, they removed the. Um, the thingy, um, the activation thingy, right? It's not 100% chance to activate the skill, but you have still have to go to resistance check. Uh, but now this one is added, increase attack bar by 5% each up to 30%. This one is the one that's not clear. Is this up to 30? Is it to, because of the, uh, is it, uh, on the condition of the per harmful effect remove? Or what is the condition of up to the 30%? This is not very clear here, right? Each, I mean each as in for each person, isn't it? On all allies, it might be each according to the number of harmful effect we move to. But the 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 statement here, the the writing here is a bit vague. Okay, the water one, Megan, summon. This was the same just now for two turns. This one is also the same. It's now two turns. I think they all remove the the activation rate or something, right? Probably. Uh, uh, this is not a lot of changes because Megan is already very good. He doesn't have any additional thingy to him. Just for two turns and two turns. That's about it. Uh, the wind one. Uh, Summon Crow. Oh! Strip! Strip one, but only 30% chance. Uh, inflict continuous damage is 100% chance. So it can strip on the default 30% chance. Uh, one. One, D, uh, one buff. I mean, okay. Okay, that's quite nice. Jealousy, attack all enemies with the power of jealousy to remove. Oh, remove one. This is also a strip. This is AoE strip, but only one buff. But with only 80% chance. And weakens the defense for two turns with 80% chance. Wait, why is the weakened defense only 80% too? This one is 100% for the weakened defense, but this one is all 80%. I don't like it. You still, ha I mean, you have 20% chance to fail, and then you still have to go through resistance check. I don't like this. It should have been made 100% chance. Uh, this one is the same, because the enemy remove. Oh, so this one is now a stripper, right? Strip 1, strip 1, this is also strip 1, but this is single target, this is single target, this is AoE. Yeah. So, mm, 
not that great, I think. I don't know. Okay, the light one. This one, uh, the one that I'm interested in. Um, inflict condition of damage. Okay. Uh, this one is yeah, AOE defense for two turns. Uh, but this is fifty percent chance for AOE defense break. It's not hundred percent. Hey, this one eighty. This one fifty. Fifty is not good. 50% chance and absorb, but yeah, it has absorb attack bar also 50% chance to absorb attack bar by 20, which is kind of nice. If you're fighting like four enemy units, you have a chance to get 80% attack bar. The effect is activated. Oh, the effect is activated with 100% chance. If, if the enemy has beneficial effect, but if the enemy has immunity, you are not able, you won't be able to strip and absorb the attack bar. It will only work if the enemy has a buff uh, and the, the buff is not immunity, right? Any other buff and then you'll activate 100% chance. Eh, still okay, I guess. You, you have to use this with a stripper then. I mean, yeah, you have to work. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you still have to use this because this, this unit, uh, the Light Mystic Twitch, it doesn't strip at all. So you need a stripper and then this goes second. So you can defense break with 100% chance. Wait, no. If you strip, it doesn't have beneficial effect. That's 50%. Oh, this is kind of doo doo then. <sighs> right? If you strip, that means you take away the immunity and all the debuffs. Usually, you, you, you want like remove all beneficial effect unless if you <laughs> use other Mystic Witch like this one that remove only one beneficial effect. Ah. So we have to live with 50% chance to defense break and absorb an attack button. Ah, this one is the more interesting one. This is like a nafty skill, right? Summon, summons comets to attack all enemies 3 to 4 times. So can hit 3 to 4. Guaranteed to hit 3 times, but it could hit 4 times, right? Each hit applying one of these following effects for 2 turns. Okay, decrease attack power, decrease attack speed, increase chance of glancing, and block beneficial effect. Okay, but with this, there's Four. I mean, he has already can put four debuffs, and then there's another one debuffs here, defense break, and then another defense break here, uh, another debuffs here, continuous damage, which is kind of nice. Six. This like Misty Witch will be able to put six debuffs. Kind of nice. Okay, the dark one. The first skill is the same. Toad poison covers all. All. Oh, AOE now. I think this was previously is only single target, right? Covers all enemies with poison to remove. Oh, this is a strip, but only one strip, one 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 buff strip. Inflict damage and prevent them from receiving beneficial effect for one turn. Wait, does this mean? Did this put poison? No, right. If it if it put poison, it will it will say continuous damage. So this is just strip, one one buff. You do damage and then you put buff buff block. Tony boost attack all and AOE again, so two AOE. Dispel would be nice. This this light one also dispel would be nice. Attack all enemies four times by summoning by summoning Tony bushes and inflict continuous damage for two turns with sixty percent, only sixty percent. The last attack additionally puts them to sleep for one turn. Okay, so it's not a strip. It's just AOE AOE dots one dot for two turns and then the last hit. Oh wait, did you, can you put more than one dot then? Okay, okay, so he can put more than one dot. So he can put up to three dots and then one slip. Kind of like Rika still. Kind of, right? Okay, so these two is kind of interesting, the light and dark one, I think. In addition, the existing Awakened Light Magic... Huh? In addition, the existing Awakened Light and message has been balanced as follows. Wait! <laughs> they introduced that. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Light Mystic Witch stat HP attack defense has been changed to be more stable. Oh, so that means they are changing the stats to be more attack. Oh, that means he will gain more attack. Okay, Light Mystic Witch comment somebody here. Effect has been What do you mean? They just changed it and now you. Yeah? Are you kidding me? You just put it here, and now there's a balance patch. There's a balance change for the light Mystic Witch. Couldn't you just put it here? So... 
Oh, they change it to only one. Oh. Come to us. You could just take away this. Just put here one turn. Easy. Why do you need to write this? This is dumb. They just put something here and then say, okay, it has been balanced. Balanced. Maybe it's too OP with two turn debuff. Now it's one turn. Okay, fine. New 2A monster you can't be used. Oh, okay. So we can't try them out in this season uh, RTA and the Legend Tournament. The Vagabonds are Mystic. Probably you won't see Vagabond. I don't know. Is Vagabond gonna be useful in RTA? I feel like the Mystic Witch, the Light and Dark one could be interesting in the RTA, but you can't use it in the current season. But I think we can use it in the special league after March 26 then. After March 27, I mean, I won't be the legend to me, so it doesn't matter. So after the current season end, you can use them. Rune power up function? Oh, they delayed the rune power up queue? Hiya, we ask your phone, can I say this one, I can't say this one, I can Okay, stability issue, okay, I was looking forward to do the rune power up thingy. So I can power up 10 runes and do something else. Battle training guard. Okay, you have the how many? Do you have two? Meet the new second a new a new mock battle featuring Vagabond and Mystic. Okay, that's good. We got two more two more scroll from this by doing it right. That is good. Uh, this is your crafting monster. Oh, increase space. So I don't have to clear up my rune at the moment. Eight hundred. We have an additional hundred. Slot for the rune, gem grindstone, artifact, engraved. Oh, that's nice. I mean, I don't have this engraved conversion stone, but this rune, gemstone, grindstone, and artifacts is good. We have additional 100 space. Nice. That is good. That is good. Rune power. The speed of. Oh, the rune. The speed of rune and artifact power and rune. Uh, uh, the rune. Uh, the, the speech of. Uh, I can't speak. I can't speak. I can't read. The speed of rune, artifact, power up, and rune and. and Enchantment reappraisal has been sped up. Nice! I want to know, I want to see how fast this is. Tata Summon Clear Stage Entry. Ah, oh, this, this is nothing. You can clear again without using energy and battle attempt, but no rewards. Battle. This is after you clear the stages. After, like, the stage is clear. You can enter again, but you can't get any more rewards from that. Okay, that's fine. Ranking info, now we'll show the time, we'll show in 3 decimal places, okay, that's fine, this is up to seconds, the clear time of Tartarus, okay, this is, this is okay, Summoner's Way quest, quite, guide quest improvement, Water Magic Knight, oh, the Water Magic Knight, because it gives us Water Magic Knight, um, in this quest, uh, in, not in the quest, it only when you clear, because everyone has clear, there's a problem where, where people who fight, Water Magic Knight, they, they won't get Water Magic Knight and they won't clear the Summoner's Way Knight. Now they do it. They give the Summoner's... They give the Water Magic Knight in the Summoner's Way quest now. I believe, right? Yeah. The clear of Mount Switch, now you only get Angel Mount Switch. They just switch this so that every time the Summoner's Way is reset, you will be able to get Water Magic Knight. Okay, so that's good. Uh, this is just error fixer. There's nothing here. Just arrow fixes on the summoner's request. Okay. New user. Okay, this is improvement. Okay, there's nothing here. Dungeon open condition. Okay, this is this is oh, this is nothing. Sub efficient limited time surprise. Oh, surprise sub. Every day, um how long is this one? This one is like three weeks almost? 14 is 17. Yeah, it's uh, like two weeks, uh, three weeks, you get one free mystical scroll every day, so you got like around 21 mystical scroll. That is nice. I think more than 20, 22 or 23. So about 3 weeks of free mystical scroll, 1 each day. That is good. You can buy lucky magic box. Oh, what is this thing? Oh, here. Oh, what is inside this lucky magic box? It says unlimited, but 750 crystal. What is inside this? I wonder. It's unlimited, so probably you're just gonna get useless stuff. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, 700 crystal for one legendary trick. Uh, seems a bit expensive. One air disco, 100 energy. 500 crystal for this? Kinda expensive? Devilmon, Super Agemon, I mean... 500 crystal for a Devilmon, but you can only buy one time. I think I'll get this. This one depends. I don't really need all of this, but for those who need 
like early game players, you kind of need the 5 star and 4 star Rainbow Mon, so that's 300 pistol, that, that's kind of cheap. Uh, 250, you get. 250, you only get 3 mystical scrolls? 225, how many? You get like 7, isn't it? But you get 5. Oh, you got 5 LD and 10. Mm, but you can buy 3 of them, so you get. 750 for 9 mystical scrolls. 15 and 30. Huh. You are giving up two scrolls. I mean, if you buy the um, premium pack, that's 750 crystals, right? So you're giving out two mystical scrolls, but you. Okay. So you're giving out like uh, two mystical scrolls for the pieces. Eh, I don't know about this. This one, Dimensional Algae. Okay, this is kind of nice. 400, you got. I think the, the 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 current one, the one that on the shop you spend ten dimensional whole kind of crazy for hundred twenty crystal and you get four hundred energy back. And you get extra four hundred energy. This is kind of nice. This is good. This one I don't need. This is only for those who are who are lacking in the um, crafting materials. This one essences I don't really like this booster. Can. Oh, but this is using mana. Uh, kind of nice for early game players, but I don't have problem with essences. Booster, I don't really need booster. Daily mystical scroll figures, yeah, that's it. Oh, this one, lucky magic box, item detail. Oh, you got 10 items! But what can you get from them? Various items are included in the lucky magic box. You will obtain 10 items out of the components listed with the single purchase. Please tap. Oh, probabilities. Very nice. So it's a gacha. Probably you say I don't know whether it will contain devil mons, but even if you have devil mons, probably the chances are very low. So most of the time, I think you'll get the shitty stuff. I don't know. We'll have to see when the when the patch is live. Uh, Master shield. Okay, there's nothing. Just skill. Okay, there's nothing. That's it. Okay. So I'm more interested in the rune power up speed. That is kind of nice. Additional thing in here, the increase in this one, that would be nice. And the Mystic Witch, the 2A Mystic Witch. I'm more interested in the 2A Mystic Witch than the Vagop one. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!